how to analyze your data. In today's video, I'm going to show you three simple ways to better understand your data. Hi, my name is John and I'm from Business Focus, helping your business achieve your goals. If you need this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Here we have a sample data set comprised of several variables that we'd like to make sense of. In order to do that, we need to summarize them. Now there are three ways to summarize your data. First is by tabulating or creating a frequency distribution. Simply go to Insert tab and select Pivot Table. A Pivot Table window will appear and you'll be asked to select the data that you want to summarize. After that, you need to select where you want it to be displayed. There are two choices. First is a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. Now let's choose a new worksheet and select OK. As you can see here, the pivot table is empty as of the moment. On the right side, you can see the pivot table field list wherein all of the variables are listed. To summarize one of them, simply select, in this case, let's choose WTO status and drag it under row labels and drag it under values. Once you go back to the pivot table, it's already summarized. Now you can clearly see here that there are two categories under WTO status namely member and observer nations. The insight you can gather from this frequency distribution is majority of nations are members, while only a few, or six in this case, are observer nations. The second method to summarize your data is by creating graphs. Simply create a frequency distribution and select any of the frequency count that you have created previously. Then go to Options tab and select Pivot Chart. Since your data is quantitative, you need to create a bar chart and select OK. Now we have a bar chart. You can clearly see here majority of nations are members and with the least is observed nations. But the third and final method for summarizing your data is by using numerical measures. Using numbers to describe your data. In order to do that, simply go to Data tab and select Data Analysis. Now for more information on how to enable data analysis, you can check out my other video. Now once you've selected Data Analysis, Go to Descriptive Statistic and select OK. You will be asked to select the data that you want to summarize. Take note that you have to select only quantitative data here. So in our data set here, we only have two choices, per capita GDP and trade deficit. So let's select per capita GDP. Select the entire column. Make sure to include the heading as well. Make sure it's grouped by columns. Check the box that says labels in first row. And let's display it on the same page. Make sure it's unoccupied. Then check the box that says Summary Statistic and select OK. Here we have a summary of numerical measures on per capita GDP. Now we'll be focusing on the two most common measures. First is measures of location. And an example of that is the mean. So we can see here that the average here is a little over 21,000. Which simply means majority of nations typically earn a little over 21,000. You can also see that if a nation earns above the average, it can be considered a wealthy nation. On the other hand, if a nation earns less than the average, it can be considered as a poor nation. Second numerical measures that we often use is measures of variability. It states how dispersed your data in relation to the mean. So we can see here that the standard deviation is a little less than 14,000. What it means that based on the average that a nation can earn as little as $7,000 and earn as much as $35,000 meaning there's a big gap between wealthy and poor nations. We've now reached the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit the like button. For more guides, tutorials, and tips, you can check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.